Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your situation ship, your general emotional energies for the week ahead for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with me, Stella Wild. So I had family in town last week and I didn't get a chance to do the weekly. So to make it up to you guys, I'm going to be doing a little, I'm going to do each sign separately and I'm going to do a little extra for each sign for the weekly for this week. Okay. So I hope that is acceptable to y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. My gosh, I have been just so overwhelmed with gratitude for your response to the channel. Thank you so, so much. And as usual, these are general readings. If you have a personal concern, you can book a private reading with me. The link is in the description. Please watch for your sun, moon, and rising sign. And these are general. So use the energy. Don't let it use you. Apply the energies to how they fit to your life. All right, Capricorn, this is how it's going to go down. I'm going to pull from this deck for your general energies. Then we will dive in with my French Oracle deck and pull a card for additional uh, information about your week ahead. And then we'll round out the reading with an angel card. All right, let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Gorgeous Capricorn, what is going on? I hope you guys are doing really well. Of course, I am wearing my Capricorn black this evening. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. We have the hanging man and the world. Okay. So I feel like this could be some energy that uh, is passing away this week. That if there has been a delay, if there's been a holdup, if you've been waiting for a piece of information, you've been waiting for news, you've been waiting you've been waiting i feel some of you are waiting to make your move there's a move you're going to be making a decision that you're going to be implementing i think you've already made the decision but you're waiting for divine timing to actually share that decision with the world and the world card indicates that yes the timing may be fast approaching where you're going to announce something important and that announcement is going to bring a profound change in your world and possibly to other people's worlds as well, particularly if you're dealing with any fixed signs. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. So like I said, I'm feeling you already have made this decision. You're waiting. And this, uh, this card can also be, though, that you're waiting to debut something like there could be some new promotions that you're going to be sharing with the world, like some new publicity, a promotion, uh, news about your business, news about your personal life, like an engagement or a new book you've published. You know, like there's going to be there's something that's been in the works and it's it's very likely to make its debut uh, by the end of the week, I feel. All right, let's see. What else we have? Queen of Swords energy, Three of Cups energy, and Eight of Coins energy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is a beautiful. So there is very likely, you could be dealing with air sign, of course, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this to me is about the decision making, the clear headed decision making. This is also a card of writing and communication and messaging and messages. So there is something beautiful, three of cups to celebrate by the end of this week to do with, again, your debut of something and probably something involving communications. There is an announcement you're getting ready to make. And that announcement is gonna bring much joy and celebration or the thing you're announcing is, is something that has brought you professional kudos, congratulations, you know, like that type of thing, um, particularly in regards to your business. So you could be announcing that you've received some sort of award, some sort of really plum pu publicity for your business, um, you know, funding. You could have even received some sort of grant or funding with this eight of coins showing up here as well and you're gonna be announcing that to the world. Now, the other thing about this energy is that 
the situation you've been waiting to announce. It is, like I said, going to close a chapter. It's going to allow you to start something new, to um, perhaps really invest in some new direction for your professional life, for your business life. There could be um, really strong growth ahead for you, Capricorn, from this good news that you're announcing that's coming in, um, from the decision that you're making to head in a much more uh, happy direction for yourself with this Three of Cups. Because with the, with the World card, you could be deciding to leave something behind, but it's not a, a terrible decision. In fact, it's bringing you much relief and joy to leave that thing behind and move forward and do something that's much more productive with your time, Eight of Coins. So this is really nice energy very very nice okay after a period like i said you've been waiting to do this <laughs> you're a very strategic planner aren't you capricorn yeah <laughs> all right capricorn let's see what else we have for you i'm loving this so far yeah, I'm, loving it. I'm loving it all right let's see what else we have for you the message we have le message the message is coming all right well we kind of already know there's a message coming but let's let's pull some more cards from this deck i will reshuffle i'm going to leave those other cards out that we already pulled all right let's see what else we need to know this could be a different message maybe this is a love message Ooh, capricorn how's your love life what's going on <laughs> leave me a comment let me know all right, is there any love message for Capricorn for this week? I mean, we know Capricorn loves business messages and that's all well and good, but what's going on with Capricorn's love life? That's what I wanna know. Okay, this is like falling apart in my hand. I gotta do it again. I was trying to cut it and it's like crumbling into many different piles. All right. I asked about the love life. Here it is. <laughs> Capricorn, are you falling in love? What's going on? Okay, look. Knight of Wands, some, some fast message. We're asking about Le Message. We're asking about this card. What is this message? This message is about a bright new beginning in your life. Now, yes, it could be with some sort of new budding romance because... Knight of Wands is a sexy energy. It, the wands are about the body, it's about the physical, um, but Knight of Wands is also, it's very fast moving energy. So this new beginning could be coming in very quickly. So it could be like, yesterday you were alone, today you're not. It's like that fast. So it's like add water and mix and it's like, there you go, instant relationship. I mean, that's very possible. Um, I'm kind of kidding, because you're not like that Capricorn, but you tend to take things rather slow. But I feel like with this energy, this could be news. The message could also be news. I'm really feeling new direction, fresh start, but Knight of Wands is also a card about moving, about moving home, moving location. This could be for your business. But with that world card we had before, it also could just be that the world is going to know about you this week with this fast movement coming in and and from the world knowing about you it starts a fresh new beginning for you in your life this is joyful energy though this is beautiful energy and like i said could be something very interesting <laughs> very very Ariel like that. Ariel liked very interesting with your love life. All right, let's pull from here. Queen of Wands energy. So fire. Mars is in Aries right now. So you could be dealing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But this is about creative passion. This I mean, this is very passionate energy. Empress. Ace of Cups. <laughs> oh, Capricorn. You are so cute. Capricorn. Oh my God. Capricorn doesn't, Capricorn doesn't like to be called cute. Handsome or beautiful, yes. But Capricorn is like, has too much like dignity to be called cute. 
Okay, Capricorn, look. We have this beautiful energy. We have, um, you know, I'm going to use this as a timing card, this Queen of Wands. This and the Knight of Wands. I mean, this is Leo season. This is Leo season. And what this is suggesting, now we can look at this a couple of ways, okay? We can look at it, yes, your love life. I'm kind of teasing you a little bit here, Capricorn. But Leo season, that Ace of Cups, a fresh offer, a new offer, one that makes you feel so freaking glorious. The Empress here, whether male, female, doesn't matter. The Empress is a card about just feeling lush, feeling luscious, and just feeling really attuned to your five senses, to your body. And it is, the Knight of Wands is sexy. I said that already. This can be a new relationship could be starting in Leo season that has the potential to develop into a serious, sexy connection for you, Capricorn. And I have a feeling that you did not see it coming. You, you, you may be very surprised by who it is, how it comes in, and yeah. And I feel like there's an inkling of it by in this week. You get news of it, right, Ariel? And with this Ace of Cups, the first is Saturday, August 1st. I feel like there could be something percolating very nice on Saturday for you. Um, however, we can also, some Capricorns are, you know, not into that. <laughs> you don't want to know about your love life. This is also possibly some beautiful alignment with your creative energy, as we've already been dis discussing. And the message comes that, You've been waiting for, like I said, if you've been wanting to really get your work out into the world, your creative work, especially this Queen of Wands, whether you write, paint, dance, sing, whatever you do creatively, uh, especially for business. Uh, Empress card is also about money. There could be some beautiful boost in your finances this week that grows into an even greater potential for you. And this Ace of Cups to me is about, since it's the one, it's the I, right? That just feeling that alignment with yourself of feeling so good about the world responding to your energy, the world responding to your creativity, responding with joy and happiness and freaking money. Okay, so... You're getting positive confirmation this week, Capricorn, about the direction you're heading in, what you're doing. This is beautiful. Um, but for some of you, love is in the air. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, love is in the air. And it's also right in front of you. <laughs> so... Keep your eyes open, Capricorn. I'm telling you, it's going to be somebody that they're already around you. You just you just have been in a different head zone. So time to shift out of that because it's going to be coming in fast. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> what else do we have for you? This is a good reading for just a weekly. This is very good. All right, what else do we have for you? But I'm also feeling with the cups, the Empress energy, and um, the Knight of Wands, it's not just going to be like a physical thing. There is emotional substance there with this new connection. <laughs> Stuck in my hand. I had to take it. Capricorn! Big happy changes. Happy cat, happy life. <laughs> so... Beautiful. Capricorn, leave me a comment. Let me know how the energy is resonating for you. You know I got I love you guys so much. All right, Capricorn. Have a great week. Take care. I'll see you again soon.